Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises and glory to the true and living power, which is Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Recha, Kadash. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shai is the true name of His only begotten Son, and there is no God beside them. And I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who definitely rule well, and honors and citations to the elect. <clears throat> so as I came to an end of watching this guy, uh, Vocab Malone, and I, um, just rewinding it back so you know his uh picture could be in there or whatever <clears throat> and soon as it ended <clears throat> matter of fact i should no it's all right but soon as it ended it reminded me of what <laughs> apostle tahar said and says of how these so-called christians don't understand prophecy in vocab alone, <clears throat> he also doesn't understand prophecy because here it is. He says that more and more people is coming into Hebrew Islamism, as he calls it. But we know it to be that more and more people are waking back up to their true nationality <clears throat> because we're not black. We're not Hispanic, you know, we're not Spanish, we're not uh, 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 Native Americans. Those are the bywords that the so-called white man put on us when he had us in slavery. Just like from the prime example, the movie Roots, you know, which I've been saying over and over. <clears throat> that is the epitome of us losing our heritage through complete uh, gruesome uh, uh, treatment from the so-called white man. <clears throat> All right. So now that uh, because you had a point in time where we would get our eyes burned out for reading the Bible straight up. It showed you that in the movie. It showed you that in the TV show, TV series Underground. You know, where he, he got caught trying to read and they burned his eyes out. You know, now just out of speculation. And through the spirit, you can automatically tell <clears throat> that that's what would happen to you if you read the Bible back in those days. And I believe that that's a saying as well. On that you would get beat. Really, you would get beat if you got caught trying to read. <clears throat> but you would get um, you would get killed if you were caught trying to read the Bible. Now, why is that? Why is that, man? Because they know. That this Bible is for us. They know that. They know the power that this Bible. This word. Contains. To the Israelites. To our people. With its connection. This this Bible man. Is a bridge. That connects to our power. Yahweh Bashem Shai. And when we open up that bridge man. We become more powerful men. We come back into our, our nationality. So lock it for the long run. You know, I'm going to grab scriptures as well. We come back into our uh, nationality. <clears throat> and then. Ultimately. When the hopeful elect is sealed. The Lord is going to return. We'll seal and build up. And when and when the hopeful elect is. So lock it. And then. Yahweh Shai, Which is our power is going to return. And save us from this captivity that we in. And allow us to be rulers of the planet Earth instead of this so-called white man. So, you know, with all that being said, here it is now. The Lord put the spirit on these devils to what? Free us from slavery. Then he put the spirit on these Edomites, these so-called white people, to make laws for what? Freedom of speech. Then he put the spirit... On them to come up with the internet. And next thing you know. Then he put the spirit on. Uh, 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 uh. He also put the spirit on. Our elder Abba Bivens. To wake up to this truth. As of to who we are. <clears throat> and then. From him teaching our, our people who we are. And then getting, getting our elders. You know. And then our elders elders as well. To come into the fold. We all start to. They all start to come back. Into the truth and teach this truth on down. And then we were able to get on YouTube 
to reawaken our people back up. All right now, I'm very sorry for the long intro, the long explanation, but it all adds up to. I had to say all that to uh, build up to the scripture right here, Revelation, which is what prophecy. Vocab doesn't understand prophecy, man, because here it is. He's saying so many people in the NFL and NBA, they're just continually, continually coming to be Hebrew Israelites, you know, roughly paraphrasing them. And then he even mentions, he even says it himself, they're not Mormonism isn't on the rise. Uh, 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 Muslim Muslims aren't on the rise, but Hebrew Israelites is on the rise. And that sprung forth this lesson. You know, when I thought of what Apostle Tahar says, how he doesn't understand prophecy. The reason why that's happening, the reason why Hebrew Israelites are taking over <clears throat> as a so-called number one religion is because of prophecy, man. And the prophecy is us waking back up to who we are. That's prophecy. There it is in Revelation 11. In verse 8, it says, in their dead bodies. Right, it says, and their dead body shall lie in the street of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom in Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. Right, because this place, America, is coming in the same spirit, is following the same path as a, a spiritual, as a Sodom in Egypt, man. Sodom, I mean, even vocab, I mean, you even got to know that <clears throat> as to why it's spiritual Sodom and the spiritual Egypt. Why? Because. We were in hardcore bondage twice. Once in, in the actual in Egypt, and then we were in hardcore bondage here. So that's why the Lord called it spiritually Sodom in Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. It says, and they of the people and kindreds and tongues and nations shall see their dead bodies. And you got to know that that's talking about uh, uh, right here in America, because here in America is the land of the most mixed multitude of kindreds and tongues and nations but it says and they of the people and kindreds and tongues and nations shall see their dead bodies and the dead bodies is going into what us not knowing who we are all right that's why you got in the and uh what's that proverbs 21 and 16 <clears throat> yep it says the man that wandereth out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. So if you don't understand, and like it says here, and um, if you don't understand what's really going on, then it's like you're dead. The Lord counts you as dead. Let me get that also. And um, this is a, uh, so I can bear with me. Hosea chapter four, verse six. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. See, so you're already destroyed if um if you don't have the understanding or the knowledge of what's going on. And then to make it worse, this is what they do. It says because I has rejected knowledge. Right. You reject the knowledge of your true culture. You reject the knowledge of who you were before slavery. You know, and that's the whole thing about it. Our people is in a state of mind where. I don't care about slavery. I ain't have nothing to do with it. I wasn't there. That's over with. That's old. Who cares? I'm doing me. It's all about me, me, me. And they don't care about anything prior to slavery. But when you dig into it prior to slavery, you finally come to see that, oh, snap, that we the Hebrew Israelites that the Bible speaks of. We're the Israelites according to the Bible. That's who we were before the so-called man beat it out of us. But the fact that they reject it, it says, because I have rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. You know, and that's the point. So now if the Lord rejects you and the Lord don't protect you, you're pretty much a dead man walking anyway. And I mean, this guy, vocab, you got to agree with that. That if you don't have the Lord's protection, you're a dead man walking anyhow, especially with these times to come. Even all the so-called Christians know that, that there's going to be a time of trouble that the earth has never seen before. So, you know, really, even when you when you look at it like that and they wandering out of the way of understanding and they are uh, rejecting knowledge, the Lord counts them as dead. So but also, you know, to go back to Revelation 11 and, and uh, uh, 
Revelation 11 and, and 8. So when you're in that state of mind of not knowing who you are, the Lord counts you as dead. But, oh, when you are, uh, that's why this is in the book of John. When you when you come back to your nationality, you come back to your culture and your heritage and learning that you are Hebrew Israelite. This is John chapter five, verse twenty five. This is the words of Yahweh Shai. It says, verily, verily, I say unto you. The hour is coming and now is when the dead shall hear the voice of the son of man and they that hear shall live. See. Who is the dead? Who is the dead that Yahweh Shai is talking about? Going back to Revelation 11 and, uh, and 9. The dead is talking about his people, the Israelites. Dead to who they are. But those that wake back up to their true nationality once again becomes alive. But remember, we're at one point in history where we all didn't know who we were because of the hardcore slavery. And that's why it says, Revelation 11 and 9, and they of the people and kindreds and tongues and nations shall see their dead bodies three days and a half and shall not suffer their bodies to be put in graves. And right, that three days and a half goes from around uh, 1620. Right, when the slavery was really beginning to uh, uh, be rampant to uh, 1970. Okay, when when our, when our, uh, uh, when our older Abba Bivens was awakened to this truth and when he started teaching this truth. And now look from 1970 to the year 2021, which we're in. So what's that 30, 50 years later? Look now, look what happened 50 years later. Why do you think this is happening so quick? Now, 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 now I see extra why this is Revelation 12 and 12. It says, therefore, rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil has come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. Right, because you see how quick, yo, 50 years ain't nothing. 50 years ain't nothing. You know, 50 years is quick. It's not like it's 300 years, 400 years, or even 100 years. Within 50 years, now look, look at the fruits of the labors, man. You got Israelites in, in almost damn near every single country. So why are we waking up at such a quick, extreme, rapid rate? Why is everybody in the NFL becoming uh, uh, or knowing about the Israelites? Why is everybody in the NBA? Because of prophecy, man. Three days and a half, they shall see our dead bodies. But after that, we're waking back up. Okay. And these are, uh, uh, other nations, they know who we are. But it says, and he sh and shall not suffer their dead bodies to be put in graves. Meaning they didn't give us none of that uh, uh, rest, man. They didn't uh, 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 comfort us. They didn't help us. You know, they didn't fight for us. They love to have it so. So let me get. Of course, you got to get this. Ezekiel 37. Ezekiel 37 is prophecy, man. Straight up, you can't get around Ezekiel 37. You really can't. So this is Ezekiel 37 and verse 13. It says, And ye shall know that I am the Lord when I have opened your graves, O my people, and brought you up out of your graves. Because what's the what's the dead? Going back to John 5 and 25, what Yahweh Shai said. The dead shall the dead uh, um the dead shall hear, and those that listen to the voice of the Son of Man shall begin to live. That's us coming back out of our graves, man. Why? Because we're coming back into the truth. Let me start at verse 12. Ezekiel 37 and 12. Therefore prophesy and say unto them, Thus saith the Lord power, Behold, O my people, I will open your graves and cause you to come up out of your graves and bring you into the land of Israel. So it's going to the Israelites. I was just going to say, I'm going to jump down to verse 14 for time's sake. It says, And shall put my spirit in you, and ye shall live. So this is so Yahweh Shai was pretty much quoting Ezekiel 37. You know, whether indirectly or directly. It says, and shall put my spirit in you, and ye shall live, and I shall place you in your own land. Then shall ye know that I, the Lord, have spoken it and performed it, save the Lord. 
the word of the Lord came again unto me, saying, Moreover, thou son of man. So right. Also, moreover, meaning also, thou son of man, take thee one stick and write upon it for Judah and for the children of Israel, his companions, and then take another stick and write upon it for Joseph, the stick of Ephraim, and for all the house of Israel, his companions, meaning the northern and southern kingdom of Israel, the twelve tribes, and join them one to another and to one stick, and they shall become one in thine hand. You see? So, you know, and as you continue to read on, it just goes into the coming and the gathering together of the children of Israel once again. You know, and when is that gathering going to come together? After the falling away. Why well, I think it says in 1 Thessalonians 5. Uh, what's that? Oh, is that 2 Thessalonians? 2 Thessalonians 2 and 3. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first. And that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. You know, and if I'm uh, not mistaken, Salaki, if, if I'm uh, mistaken, you know what, man, I'm um, not really going to go into that, man, because I'm not too sure, so, and I don't want to uh, mess it up, so. You know, because that, matter of fact, that could be going into how Esau had to fall away during the uh, Dark Ages. So, Salaki on that, Salaki. So, but yeah, pretty much, man. You know, but you can look at it like that as well. You know what I'm saying? If that's not uh, ultimately what that's really talking about, <clears throat> it kind of still fits. So, Salaki. But we had to lose our what? Our nationality first. And then. That's the valley of the dry bones, you know, us coming back with the flesh coming back onto our bones and us coming back out of our graves and living once again. So, you know, ultimately, this guy in vocab, he doesn't understand prophecy. He doesn't know that that's the prophecy. You know, what's going on right now? You see, these prophecies are coming to life. It's beautiful. And that's how we know that this Bible is real. You know, that's how we know that. Salaki. That's how we know that Yahweh Basham Shai is real. You know, and his Bible is real, man. The Rakar Kadash. So when he mentioned, I mean, it's it's a very serious problem, whatever. Mormonism isn't on the rise. Muslims isn't on the rise. But black Hebrew Israelism is, is it's on the rise. Why is that on the rise? Because of prophecy. It's right there in the prophecies. We had a time where we we're going to fall away. But then we have a time period to where we're going to come right back, gain our nationality, uh, relearn and connect back with Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Oh, let me get one more scripture to end this off with. There it shall be said. You no, know, so you don't you don't even know that what you're saying is prophecy, man. Oh, uh, come on, where is it? I right, in Baruch. I know it gotta be in Baruch, so I can bear with me. This is Baruch. Um, hold up. Nah, my fault. It's right here in my face. Hosea chapter 1 verse 10. Yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as a sand of the sea, which cannot be measured nor numbered. And it shall come to pass that in the place where it was said unto them, ye are not my people. Right. Where is it said ye are not my people here? And the United States, when we're in that hardcore slavery, this is the only captivity to where we uh, 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 did not know who we were. We always knew we were the Lord's people. But now here it is. We don't know it. Only place we don't know it is, is, is here in the United States. When we were in Egypt. We knew we were the Lord's people. When we were under the uh, uh, Babylonians, we knew we were the Lord's people. When we were under the Assyrians, the Persians, the Medes. Okay. The uh, uh, Greeks, Romans. We knew we was the Hebrew Israelites. The only place we didn't know where we were the sons of the Most High, the people of the Most High was here. But guess what? It says uh, that in that in the place where it was said unto them, ye are not my people. There it shall be said unto them, ye are the sons of the living power. So in this same place, we were going to lose who we were, but we were going to come back to who we were. And that's all prophecy. 
That's what's happening. That's why Hebrew Israelites is on the rise. That's why so many people is waking up. That's why so many people is leaving Christianity. That's why so many people is leaving being a Muslim. Okay? Because of prophecy. Now, not every, what's that, Joe, Dick, and Harry is going to be coming to Israel because you got something called the two-thirds. So, more people is actually ain't going to believe than believe, but the ones that us that believe, hey, oh, praise and glory to you. How about Shemal Shai? And count ourselves blessed. Super duper blessed, man. That we know. Because it's about us. It ain't about what the two-thirds think. It ain't about y'all. You know, our job ain't to uh, uh, sit here and babysit you, make you come to class so that you can see it. The Lord don't even want you to see it. You can't see it. We see it. All right. Lord, one was edifying, and I'm going to say Shalom.